1914 emergency, setting up for an ILS, runway 28. Search 1914, have you uh, registered first? Register center is 2979, and you can expect ILS 22. 2979. Search uh, 1914, heavy, just going to maintain 2,500. Uh, Down to 2,500, FedEx 1914, emergency. Search 1914, heavy, uh, Christian 1914, uh, what uh, heading are you referring to? Uh, we'd like to just set up to a bylaw for the approach. We don't have a heading. Search 1914, uh, Roger, you're uh, three miles from bylaw, cross bylaw, at or above 2,300, clear to the ILS, only two to first. At or above, bylaw, at or above 2,300, clear to the approach, FedEx 1914. Engine 7, truck 5, battalion 2, Bark 2 at the airport, aircraft landing with smoke in the cockpit. Runway 28, 1200 for Brooks Avenue. This is first fetch on the air with airport fighter response, engine 7, truck 5, battalion 2, along with Gates, Highlight, Kodak, Scottsville, and Mumford. Dealer 2 at the airport for an aircraft landing with smoke in the cockpit. 1200 Brooks Avenue, runway 28, time out 0104. Engine alert 2 at the Greater International Airport, companies respond on channel 2. The airport fire department to gate 26 off Brooks Avenue. The fire dispatch to Mumford Gates, Chile, Scottsville. There's an alert to at the Greater Rochester International Airport. Companies to respond on channel 2 with the airport fire department to gate 26 off Brooks Avenue. Gates, we need one pumper, one rescue, a chief officer. Chile, one rescue, one chief officer. Mumford, one tanker. Scottsville, one tanker. Ground rescue 5. Rescue vehicle calling ground through your numbers. Rescue 5. Rescue 5, Rochester Ground Bureau. Rescue 5 requesting uh, clearance for the field or for the uh, fleet to set up on runway 28. Rescue 5, the company cannot proceed as requested and uh, cross runway 28 if needed. Able to proceed as requested and OK to cross 28 if needed. Rescue 5, company. Ground Rescue 4. Rescue 4, go. Rescue 4, and it looks like 3 additional uh, need clearance, Echo Lima Hotel. Hold short at 2A for our setup spot. For company, Roger, I, you and uh, I proceed as requested. Clear to proceed, Echo Lima Hotel, Rescue 4, 1, and 2. Sorry, 1914, how many souls do you have on board and uh, a few remaining time? Two souls on board, one hour, few remaining. Roger on rescue three. Rescue three, bro. Rescue three is a fire station like Echo Cross uh, two five uh, Fox Rod down. Rescue three, uh, Roger. You can proceed across the cross runway two five. Rescue three, cross. Roger, rescue one. Rescue one, bro. Can you advise when our aircraft is next to land? Rescue one, he's about uh, eight miles out right now, so he will be the next one to land. Can you verify that uh, all rescue vehicles are holding short of runway two eight at this time? Rescue one, all air port equipment. Is everyone short of two eight? Five is short of two eight. Rescue three is short. Rescue one, Roger. Uh, everyone is short of two eight. Rescue one, Roger. Thank you. Uh, break FedEx 1914. Wind at the field is two two zero at one four gust two one. Runway two eight for the land. Way to land. Runway two eight. FedEx 1914. And we're going to be stopping straight ahead on the runway and egress in the aircraft. FedEx 1914. Roger. Ground rescue one. Request clearance to follow. Is everyone able if we can get his intention when he lands? Sorry, 1914, can you say your intentions when he lands? Say again for 1914. 1914, say intentions when he lands. We're going to stop straight ahead and evacuate the airplane. There's smoke in the cockpit. Sorry, 1914, Roger. And Rescue 1, uh, did you talk about that? They're going to stop on the runway and evacuate the airplane. Do Rescue 1 acknowledge this? If you want our airport equipment, be advised. Island intends to land, stop on the runway, and evacuate the aircraft. If you have clearance to follow, we will follow the aircraft. Aircraft Rescue 1, if you can see if there's anyone in the airport that can go to gate 26 and uh, land that gate if we need it open. And one of the deputies is heading that way now, 563 is heading that way. 563 is that way. If you can advise, have him, have him hold the gate closed, and if we need anybody, we'll call him in. Copy. And Rescue 5 is going to set up on the nose. Roof at 3. Roger. And looks like they got their lights up. I'm checking now. Can we make sure they get their engine shut down first? Hey, Rochester Ground Rescue 1. That's one go. If we can get through to the aircraft that just landed, if you can shut his engines down before he evacuates. 
Okay, two, two on the north end. What's she once again you were stuck on? Can we see if we can get our aircraft to shut the engines down before he evacuates? Ready, 1914, if you can uh, shut the engines down before you evacuate. The tank looks clear. I do see the uh, occupants moving out. They're coming out uh, left, left one. We got a slide deployment. Okay, the aircraft has landed, stopped on the runway, evacuating. Great. All right, so headed towards uh, the edge of the runway. All right, let's get rescue two up here. We'll deploy a ladder. Get up in the cockpit. Yeah, rescue two up coming around the left side. Roger that, Sam. Rescue one airport is going to be advised. You have a main deck uh, player indicator in the cargo area. Show me get a check on that. Rescue one, rescue four. You want me to come up and help rescue two? Yes, please. You can make arrangements for the deputies to let in engine seven and truck five, please. Hold it. Rescue one, okay, request an engine seven and truck five to respond to the scene. Command post at Delta and Hotel Intersection. Deputy still with them in. Okay, rescue one, can you check with FedEx and see if we have a ground tour equipment? If they do, please have them come on out. Ground crew. Okay, I'm Rescue one, Gunny Six. Go ahead, Gunny Six. I've got a gentleman or one of my guys going over to FedEx. Um, and i got another guy going over. Do you want those two trucks out here? Yeah, I'd like them right out where I am. Okay, I'm going to have uh, Mike go over and escort him out here. Tower, oh, 26. 26, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Are you showing anybody inbound at this time? Uh, negative. Okay, because we have, uh, this aircraft is disabled on 28, so we don't have a runway as of right now. Tower, 26, Roger. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have anybody coming in for a long time. Okay, we'll play by here then. County 6. Rescue one. Emergency contact for FedEx. Operations interior, the pilot's coming back on to fire up the hydraulic pumps and open up the cargo compartment. Rescue one, rescue one, base. How many firefighters, how many captains do we have in, in quarters? Can you take rescue nine and come out here, please? Operations interior, be advised, truck five is going to land her that doorway with his pick. We'll be able to get him to move when you want to go in the cargo compartment. Eight signatures, thank you. Fire dispatcher, rescue one. Are inquiring if they're still needed or if they can go back and service from their traffic post. Now, so far, no luck with a, co um, a FedEx contact. Air Time Rescue One. What's our status on the ground crew from FedEx? Kind of a little number a couple times, haven't been able to reach anybody yet. The uh, County 6 is looking into trying to get all the symbols and maybe see if we got an emergency number for them. Okay, you gained access from the cockpit. We can't get into the cargo doors this time, so you're full report. Acknowledged, thank you. Fire dispatcher to rescue one. Contact on the way, 20 to 25 minute ETA. Aircom rescue one. ECD reports, FedEx contact has been notified. They got about 25 minute ETA. 25 minute ETA. Operations command was turning the DSP out. 05 and 4. Companies on standby, Mumford and Scottsville, Trilot, you all can go back. Case to hold in quarters. It's far dispatch on channel 5 and for Mumford and Scottsville to return Chile as well. Gates to stand by at the request of Rescue 1. Time out 0144. Gates ALS 1 AMR ALS. Operations. The DJ rings right now. The uh, indicator has reset at this time, it appears. And they have checked the aircraft already. And there is a slight odor in the cockpit. That's the only area. Okay, thank you. We're getting good readings on the meter. He's checking right now, and it's just a stale smell in the uh, cockpit. It's not an actual fire or electrical motor. Operations interior. Do you have uh, access to the avionics compartment from the flight deck? Negative on your question, and the actual vehicle, the meter readings are fine. Operations acknowledge it. Terry 800 to come in. Rescue went on for Terry 800. Yeah, Camp, just be advised, engine 4512 will be your engine in staging here. 
FedEx here. I update the FedEx. There's probably not going to be able to have a truck driver here in 6400 to get this thing up. She won out, Roger. You're coming extremely broken. Says that they're not going to be able to get a, a truck there until 0400. That's correct. I'll give you a better time frame if stuff comes available. She won, Roger. Thanks. Rescue 1, Rescue 9. Can you get up here? If you could just drive over by the R1 door and see if anybody needs any water. Rescue 9, copy. Patient's interior. Interior. And be advised, Rescue 9 is be pulling up momentarily to the R1 door with water if any of you guys need water. That would be great. Operations interior. Interior. There should be an old, an orange folder behind the captain's seat floor level. If you can bring that down, uh, Firefighter Miller's on his way over to get it. It's the log. Yeah, rest of one. FedEx personnel, the tug, and mechanics are on. FedEx personnel, mechanics are on. Operations interior. If you can come back down to ground level, there's two FedEx mechanics. Uh, we're trying to get into the E&E compartment. If you can meet up with them. We're going to need also to get into the cargo compartment before they move the aircraft. Uh, we can't really get into the cargo compartment. It's all the way to the top. The only way we'd be able to get any type of flight out of it is open the overhead door and look down. And yeah, we're trying to open the cargo door? Yeah, if you want to send a mechanic up and we'll try and do that. They're about 15 feet directly below you. Your two operations will get the mechanic. He's just going to get in there. Very good, thanks. Operations interior, be advised the hazardous cargo is in position 14 and position 10 at the aft of the aircraft. Interior operations, can you send over a PC extension? On the way. On the aft compartment. Aft compartment. Operations, aft compartment is empty. November 771, clock check out. Okay. Operations interior, did that aft compartment have communication with the main cargo bay? I think it was the back, can you repeat? The air compartment that you checked out is clear. Does that have communication with the main cargo bay? Negative. Okay, we're still going to get that main cargo bay before we move. Front lower is clear. Interior to operation. Do you have the main cargo bay open also, or uh, are you going to give them clearance to the Interior collaboration. I do want to inspect the main cargo. This is about the eighth time I've told them that. All right, well, we'll have do it. Continuing operations, they have to uh, power up the aircraft to open up the overhead door. Permanent, and you also have the mechanics to come up and disconnect the flight, and then they'll be towing you back to FedEx. Rochester Ground Rescue 1. Rescue 1 Ground. Yeah, FedEx Ground personnel are on scene. We're hooking up to Tuck Mountain. I'm expecting they'll be requesting clearance to get it off the runway in the next 15 or 20 minutes. Rescue 1, Roger. 3 o'clock, KB 243. Rescue 1 to Rescue 3 and 4. 3 on. 4 on. Hey, gentlemen, we're going to follow this, the uh, parking all of us. As soon as they take off, if you can give us County 5 just a minute, he wants to use your lights to check the runway for cloud. 4 acknowledged. Tower, County 6. County 6, Tower. Hey, I just want to let you know that we're, um, we're going to be moving this aircraft in a few minutes. Uh, we're just going to take we're going to take Delta, Bravo, Foxtrot across to the FedEx ramp. So I just, when we're ready to go, I just wanted to be able to go. Okay, thanks, Roger. You can uh, proceed as requested, and just uh, let me know when you start moving. We'll let you know when we start moving, and uh, hopefully we'll have everything wrapped up here pretty quick. County uh, 6. Thank you. Tower, County 6, we're starting to move the aircraft now. Thanks, Roger. And uh, are you doing the field check after you get it back to the ramp? That's the problem. As soon as I get this back to the ramp, I'll do the field check and everything else. Roger. Rescue 5 to airport equipment. We are cleared to follow the aircraft. One, go ahead. Okay, FedEx is tugging the aircraft to the ramp and airport equipment is following. We're kind of rescue 1. FedEx personnel are tugging the aircraft back to the ramp. Rescue vehicles are following. Copy. Tugging the vehicles uh, are coming back to the ramp and you're in the Tower County 6. County 6, Tower. Tower County 6, the aircraft, um, all of the rescue vehicles and all the county vehicles are clear of 10 to 8 at this time, and you can consider it open. It will be fair and dry at this time. County 6, Roger, thank you. And Tower County 6, so the aircraft and all rescue vehicles are clear of the field at FedEx ramp. I'd like Clarence County to 7 to finish up the field check. Okay, 6, Roger, proceed Fox, try and pull like the runway 7. 
10, County 6 is clear of the field. All surfaces bare and dry. Thank you so much for all your assistance last night, and have a fine rest of your morning, sir. Thanks, Roger. Thanks. Last United, last year, two. Pick up, one total with a heel on it. Technology batteries are dead. What's their plan to get that door open? We're going to have to change out the batteries and put a new battery in at the uh, GPU. All I got from you was that the GPU won't charge. we got to change the battery. Operations interior, do they have a battery on location or do they need to order one out? Well, to bring it over right now. Interior is going to expand. Go ahead, Interior. The first ULD we've got is 4231. Sir, you're unreadable. ULD number 4231 FX. Here's they have dry ice in it, and we believe that may have been the cause of the incident. Is that the one that's also got the lithium battery? Yes. Yeah. Okay, one more UDL, ULD back in. Uh, position 10 or 14 that's just got the dry ice. Okay, we just have this one. It's the last one we're bringing out. Very nice. All clear? There was one up front that did have a little bit of dry ice. This one has the majority. Okay, that's the last one and everything's clear? Yeah, we're all on it up now. Okay, six star. Go ahead, sir. Six. Uh, we just need to know if anybody was injured while they were exiting the aircraft or just in general if there are any injuries. No injuries reported. Thanks, Mr. Archer. Thank you. Air Cam Rescue 1, the aircraft has been unloaded. The cause of the alarm aboard the aircraft was dry ice. Rescue 1, thanks. Rescue 1, back in service. Rescue 1, Kenny 6. Go ahead for coming, 6. Just wanted to say thank you. It was a pleasure working with you tonight. Welcome, sir. Likewise, if you could just turn over to Jim Henry, that uh, tonight I, in fact, was not grumpy. I can do that, but isn't it usually coming back from him? Excuse me being grumpy. Roger, sir. Additional at the FedEx ramp requesting clearance at FedEx for uh, Fox Trot Echoes. Two and company, proceed as requested, cross runway 25. Fox Trot Echo, crossing 25, ready to Ground all water for clear. Company, Roger. Good work tonight.